Hello, Joe. This is Joe, 25 years from the future. I hope you got my message warning you I was sending this message. You are getting this on November 13th, 1995, my 17th birthday, your 17th birthday. I am calling you from the year 2020. A lot of stuff has gone down. I need to warn you about your future. I'm Doc Brown, and you're Marty McFly, and gonna be some heavy stuff. First, yes, we lost our hair. We lost it early. By the end of college, it's already going. So start the Rogaine now. I don't know if it'll help. I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, we got a lot of problems, okay? I'm in a hospital bed. I've been in a hospital bed for 12 years. It's been a disaster. Uh, I never got married. I never met the right woman. Uh, I wish I could tell you, hey, that's the one you want to go after. To be completely honest, I don't think I ever met the right woman. Uh, there were things. I know you're 17. You're wondering, hey, when am I going to? Uh, it's going to be a while. And but hey, things might change. You're gonna have, I'm gonna get set you up with some money, and I'm gonna tell you how to avoid this. Okay, first off, you lose a lot of weight in college. You lose a lot of weight in college. You're gonna look good. Uh, you're gonna do a lot of walking, a lot less eating. You're gonna look good. You're gonna feel good, and you're gonna go to Hofstra University. You're gonna go to Hofstra University. You're gonna major in electrical engineering with a computer option. Do it. You're going to join the professional engineering fraternity on campus. Very important you do that. Okay. In the year 2000, uh, around August uh, to September, you will be searching for a job. You will put your resume on a site called monster.com. It is a website. Yes, websites are going to take off. You are working right now on a website for your high school. Don't let that idiot uh, uh, teacher, Sloan, Sloan, whatever the hell his name is, Stop you. Keep doing that. In fact, that type of website becomes the most profitable type of websites in the future. They're going to be called social media. There's going to be tons of them. There's Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, all, all these types of websites. You're working on something that's going to become valuable if you work on it. In my timeline, I stopped. But don't worry. There's going to be other ways to get money. Okay, I'm going to give you some stocks and some lottery numbers. I was going to give you a bunch of the three digit numbers, but here it is for tomorrow, November 14th. I hope you've got a pen. For November 14th, the three digit lotto number for New York is three is seven, two, three. And the four digit number is nine, seven, three, eight. Okay. And then for November 19th, the three digit number is two, seven, nine. And the four digit number is five, two, four, seven. And then, very important, the actual lottery, the six-digit lottery for November 18th, 1995, New York State is 3, 6, 23, 25, 42, 50, bonus ball 51. Again, 3, 6, 23, 25, 42, 50, bonus 51. You're going to take that money. You're going to put it aside. You're going to need that money to buy stocks. Stocks is where the big money is going to be. Okay, with the stock money, you can do anything you want. The stocks you're going to need to buy. The first one is Yahoo. It has an IPO April 12th, 1996, next year. Okay, it, you get in at the IPO or whatever you get in at, the stock zooms up eventually to $118. So wherever you can buy it, you sell it when it hits 118. When it starts going down from 118, the bubble has burst. There's a whole tech bubble. Tons and tons of internet stocks get really inflated and then they all fall apart. Okay. Amazon. Amazon has its IPO in April, May 15th. An important day in the family. May 15th, 1997, Amazon IPO. If you buy $10,000 of Amazon stock on the day of its IPO, you would have $12 million if you owned it today. And I promise you, Amazon is doing everything. Amazon starts out as a bookseller. They're buying groceries. You're buying, you're buying everything through Amazon today. It is like the most powerful, biggest company in the world. Okay, you also want Google. Google's very important. 
Uh, it's going to become the biggest company also. Apple, surprisingly, Apple becomes a big company. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube is important. It becomes a video company. It's going to get bought by Google. You want to have a presence on YouTube. Start talking on YouTube. Start talking about Star Trek on YouTube. I'll be honest, the future of Star Trek, it gets pretty bad. Uh, DS9 is great. DS9 gets awesome. There's another series called Enterprise. It's so-so at first. And um, then it's, 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 all, it's all downhill. So uh, start talking about Star Trek on YouTube. You're going to meet some great, great friends on YouTube. You got to go to Hofstra University. I told you that. You, in, in, you got to look for a job in August and September of 2000. You know, put your resume on a website called monster.com. You're going to get a call, hopefully, from a company called the Sydney Frank Importing Company. Sydney with an I. Uh, it is a liquor distributor. It is owned by somebody who will become a billionaire, Sydney E. Frank. Stay close to that company. You got to tell them, though, you can't, you can't move to California. They're going to want you to move to California for half the year. Tell them you can't because you've already got a job. Lie if you don't. But tell them you've already got a job. You should have a job at Hofstra working uh, as a teaching, uh, continuing education department teacher. So you'll be busy on weekends until Christmas. They will let you not move to California. And that will set you on the right path to do some really good stuff at that company. It's going to be an amazing time of your life. Now, you're going to get sick. You're going to get sick. I'm going to be honest. You lose a lot of weight in college and things are looking really good. Uh, but then uh, a very bad thing happens on September 11, 2001. It's a terror attack. And you just start getting depressed after that. You stop exercising. You stop caring about what you eat. And slowly over the years, uh, you put on all the weight you lost and possibly then some. Uh, on May 2009, I ended up in the hospital because of complications from pancreatitis because of super high triglycerides. So if you can keep your weight off and keep your triglycerides safe, you can avoid this fate of being stuck in a hospital bed. Please, for the love of God, avoid that fate. Um, if it's exercise, if it's a specialist, just stay, just do what you can. Uh, you better make, once you got that past that, uh, have fun at the company, enjoy it while you can. The company's probably going to go under in a few more by 2011, 2013, the company's done. So at that point, you want to try to figure out something new. Um, the Yankees, the Yankees are going to win the World Series in 1996, 1998, 1999, 2000, which they will play against the Mets, and 2003. And the Red Sox, they win the World Series in 2004 for the first time in forever. Uh, listen, 9-11-01, 9-11, a super terrorist attack. It changes the entire world. I don't think you can stop it. Uh, Al-Qaeda flies four planes, three of them, two of them, into one into each tower of the World Trade Center in New York City. The towers get destroyed. One into the Pentagon. People, hunt, thousands of people die. And one plane crashes in a field in Pennsylvania. Do not let any family members or friends fly on a plane on 9-11. Do, do not let any family members or friends go to work at or around the World Trade Center on 9-11-01 and for god's sakes don't breathe the air in the vicinity they're going to tell you it's safe but it's not safe uh, i don't know how you can prevent it i don't even know if you want to prevent it it sucks we're going to go to wars for a long time it changes the whole country shit goes to hell but i i can only suggest uh you you save your friends and your family and your friends families uh that's all you can really do. Uh, I don't have enough time. We got less than 30 seconds left. Uh, I didn't have any kids. I'm sorry. I wished I did. Siso Prey didn't get married, but she did have a kid this past year. In fact, we have a nephew. He's a wonderful boy. He's only four and a half months old. I don't know how to prevent your time changes from preventing him from being born, but uh, 
Hopefully it's his destiny to be born either way. I love you. You love me.